Okay, so I'm still debating on whether or not I want to return my Apple iPhone. Um, one of the tests that I'm going to do is use the Neuros OSD unit, which you see here. There's a remote again, like I showed before. I have now hooked up the Apple iPhone 8GB to the USB port on the OSD. Um, as you can see, nothing appears there on the iPhone as far as like a disk mode or anything else like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Now that it's plugged in, and we're going to go to the Neuros OSD software. And let me just change the camera. Let me turn off some lights here so we can see a little better. Okay, and I think you can see that a little bit better. Well, I hope that's a little bit better. There's a little bit of glare here because it's still daylight and I got all the lights off and the blinds closed. Going ahead, I'm going to start Dune, which is on my on-demand, on my Comcast uh, DVR. So, start playing Dune and I'm going to record Dune, or attempt to record it onto the... Let me just turn the volume down a little bit. The beginning is a very delicate... Okay, now I'm going to select on recording settings. I'm going to select the Apple iPod. I'm going to go ahead and leave the default save to location. Uh, it's already at super fine. It's got a name there, OSD. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change that. Go backspace here and use the keypad on the remote control. I'm going to go ahead and put in Dune here in just a second. Got my D. Oh, wrong key. Just a second. There we go. This is the original first Dune, so go ahead and enter that. And I'm going to, as you can see, it's showing up. Uh, one megabyte on the space there. I don't know if that matters. Let's go ahead and say start and see what happens. No storage found. Unable to record. Let me go up here to the Apple iPod. Down to edit the safety location. Let's go ahead and say yes. We'll override that. Uh -huh. As you can see, it's only coming up with network. I believe the problem is going to be that the Apple iPhone does not show up as a drive so we're not going to be able to use that. Um, I'll have to look into this a little bit more but I think uh, for right now we're going to have to wait for Apple to uh, give us a drive mode on the Apple iPhone. Okay, I have now popped a SIM card into uh, the Neuros OSD. I'll try recording um, Again, not directly to the iPhone, but I'll record iPod format and I'll go ahead and put it onto, uh, let's go to the CF card. And I'll keep it, uh, I'll go back down here again. Let's go over and name this Dune again real quick. Now that I think I've got my keys mastered a little bit better. Okay, there's Dune. Super fine. Oops. And I'll say start. Okay, so now it's recording to the compact flash card. I'm going to go ahead and let this go for a few minutes and then I will transfer it to my. Uh, MacBook and then onto the Apple iPhone and see how it actually plays on the iPhone when recorded to the compact flash card. So while the while I was unable to sync or uh, record directly from the Neuros OSD to the hard drive on the iPhone because I think it's the iPhone drive part I was able to record to a compact flash card then I took that compact flash card Put it into my MacBook Pro and synced it over here. And as you can see, in the videos, there's Dune. I tap on it. 
plays in landscape mode and as you can see plays beautifully actually looks <laughs> it looks better on the iPhone than it did on the TV the clarity is great um, I don't know what the volumes at here volumes at max the speakers not very good but as you can see it plays quite well there's Dune recorded from the Neuros OSD to the Apple iPhone no problems at all with codecs I use the default MP4 uh, format the iPod setting in the Neuros OSD and it plays beautifully. Good job Neuros. Now we just need to get Apple to get the drive mode working on the iPhone and we'll be all set getting open source video content onto the Apple iPhone.